a <laughs> you know that's when people are single I don't want any kids mm. or I want kids but I can't I'm gonna get married I have kids <laughs> or I don't want any kids or they don't even think about it <laughs> I never thought about it wanting kids never came to mind or never even decide and then um, say if you go through a challenge a health challenge and then you can't have kids I want kids I'm never gonna have kids it's exactly what I want I don't want anything that's the only thing I want actually you might not express it that way you might just be stroppy and angry and frustrated and moody I hate this why are you not doing this why are you not doing that and picking and exploding then you realize that behind that explosion if you unpeel the layers you realize that you're just sad that it's not happening and you really want to <laughs> and then if you're a woman the clock is ticking tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock it's gonna explode tick tock tick tock <laughs> and then what happens oops sorry um and then what happens <laughs> Some people just try and, and it happens. And some people have some treatment and it doesn't happen. <laughs> the only thing that happens is they spend lots of money. And some people have some too many treatments and that eventually happens. <laughs> okay, I'm not trying to make light of a situation that is very sensitive for many. Okay. Just trying to laugh a little bit without trying to offend. And then um, there are also others that just go about, I don't care, and then it happens. And some for others, it never happens at all. And um, what I realize, having kids and not having kids, is that when you don't have them and you don't care about having them, it doesn't matter. Uh, when things are taken away from you, then all of a sudden it does matter. <laughs> said that I did not want her. <laughs> now they've taken away, I really want that. Can you bring it back, please, please? <laughs> and then, when you have them, you get pregnant. Oh, I'm so pregnant, I'm pregnant. And you go, I need to worry, my oh my God, I'm pregnant, oh my God, I'm pregnant, oh my God, I'm pregnant, oh my God, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and you got emotion. <laughs> I'm not gonna look after this kid. You're gonna look after this kid. You're gonna see, you think I'm gonna leave up work? Do you think I'm gonna give up work? You're gonna stay home and look after this kid because I'm not looking after this kid. <laughs> See, hormones all over the place. Ah, one minute you're like, ah, next minute, ah. <laughs> okay, I don't have any energy. Or you might just have to sail it through. Oh, I'm so pregnant. I'm so happy. I'm in love with the world. I love the world. Oh, I rub my belly. And again, rub my belly. <laughs> I'm so happy for the first time in my life. I'm happy. Before that, I was miserable as hell. I was a terrible company, but now I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I get this love in my life. Ah. And they stroke, 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 stroke. <laughs> and then others are just sick, 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 sick. Oh, this, I'm so sick. Ah. Can't stop throwing up. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> and you've got those. Oh, all I see is pregnant people and babies and kitties ah, and birds, tiny birds that remind me of babies. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then there is a peak when they feel better. Oh, for the two. And they all feel, oh, look at this heartbeat. Boom, 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 heartbeat. Did you? And others, there's no heartbeat. I know if we're going to be pregnant. Ah, disaster, I'm depressed. I hate my life. I want to die now. I'd rather die if I die. I don't care. <laughs> and then there's um, uh, that they get a glow. Oh, look at my glow. Look at my glow. My big glow. <laughs> I get a glow. I get a glow. No, I don't have a glow. I just have like this shiny thing <laughs> for my sweat and also for my hormones and my oily skin. <laughs> next stage they might have a day of comfort or not and then I can't turn I can't sleep I'm always awake going to the toilet every two minutes 
Oh, I need to hide my pregnancy. I need to hide my pregnancy. I need to hide my pregnancy. Because if they find out that I'm pregnant, they're going to sack me. <laughs> I'm throwing up. Ah, ah. <laughs> um, um, again, you don't sleep for the night. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. And then... If you still can't have a child and you're wasting money in treatments or you don't have a child at all, ah, I wish I could die. Otherwise, I get pregnant. Uh, what do we do when some people prepare the whole clothing and, and the bedding like a year in advance and get everything? Shall I have pink or blue or yellow for neutral? Okay, and then get everything, and then it's those that do things like me, me, my waters have broken. What have broken? I go home. Oh, I don't have a hospital bag. Okay. Hey, husband. Can you go upstairs and find this, that, and that? <laughs> I didn't think about a minute. <laughs> and then, if you're still not pregnant or you're spending all your money on pregnancy treatment, You're pregnant. <laughs> um, okay, so when you go and give birth, what is ah, oh, oh, it's so painful, ah, oh, it's so painful, ah, oh, it's so painful. And I spend hours of agony and nightmare painful, the worst pain that you probably experience in your life. I guarantee you, it was mine, and I've experienced pain before uh, more than I wanted. And uh, <clears throat> so the little thing comes over, and you think, ah. Well, I didn't feel any joy. <laughs> I was too tired. <laughs> but we have to show you that we are happy with the world with this little thing. And then they suck your boobs and you can't even get them to sort of feed. You can't get them to feed and latch on your boobs and they crack and they painful and blah, 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 blah. And they just cry, cry, cry. You can't even go to the toilet. Ah, you can't even eat. You can't even sleep. Ah, ah, ah. And those people that don't have kids, ah, my life is miserable, my life is miserable, my life is miserable, ah, it's so sad, it's so sad. <laughs> and the people that have the kids, oh, I don't have a life, 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 I can't even eat, I can't even sleep. <laughs> and people that don't have kids, oh, God, I'm so unhappy, I'm so unhappy, I'm so unhappy, I hate my life, I could die now, I might as well die now. And people have kids, oh, I can't sleep, oh, I can't sleep, this thing, shut this thing. And then they start arguing with the partner, don't do this, do that, don't do that, stop the kid from growing. <laughs> stop, don't clean the house. And they make you feel guilty because they do something like cleaning the house or dealing with the dishes. It makes you feel guilty, deal with the baby, don't let the baby cry, don't let the baby cry. <laughs> and then, do you know, before you have a baby with someone, if you plan or you want to, Oh, I'm so loving you. I'm so I love you so much. Oh, I love to have a baby with you. And then the baby comes along. I hate you. I hate you. You never do anything right. <laughs> you never do anything right. I hate you. Get off. Get off. <laughs> and take the kid. <laughs> and then you spend the rest of your life together arguing and bitching and arguing together. <laughs> And the kid is just me, 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 me. Okay, irrational beasts all the way through. And then you worry about them. <laughs> you worry they're going to turn up into these humans that are not even a human being. <laughs> you do, don't do anything right. <laughs> you just argue all the time. So. <laughs> and you spend a lot of money. Okay, just in basics. Just in basics. <laughs> you don't even have space in the house because it's taken by all the other things. <laughs> and then it comes like, you're born because they don't have a brain. They just cry, cry, cry. <laughs> Toddlers because they have these strong emotions. Cry, cry, cry. Ah! Ah! Beasts. They are beasts. <laughs> Again, they grow occasionally, then they give you a little smile. Like, oh, my heart is full. Oh, it's so worth it for a second or two minutes. And it goes back to rah, 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 rah. and then they grow and they, they can talk. Oh, the first word! Oh my god, they can talk, they can talk, they can move, they can talk. And then you realize.
realize there's movements turning to them being able to turn the television on each time they want that you hate that noise in the background or talking and all in your book <laughs> and being too heavy for you to just pick them and carry them okay <laughs> it's when they literally could just go don't like it too bad <laughs> drop that <laughs> out the window <laughs> They're too big, and then they've got strong emotions, but those emotions get bigger and stronger. Rah! And then they're too heavy for you. Okay? <laughs> and then the people, they don't, can't have children, sorry. Mm -hmm. And spend so much money. Oh, my life is a size, I don't have any children. The only thing that makes me happy is I have a child. The only thing that makes me happy is I have a child. Okay, so I'm going to tell you. Your life is miserable if you don't have a child. Your life is miserable if you have a child, but you're stuck either way. <laughs> And then as they get older, oh my god, they think they're right and they know everything. <laughs> so all your knowledge, all your experience you've gathered over the years, is that doing that? Mm. One, they're not interested. Two, you're wrong and they're right. Mm. And three, you are insulted every two seconds, every second. And also, they react in ways that is, they consider it appropriate. Can I please have some help? No. And you'll feel like, I can't believe this. Ah! And not only feels infuriating, but also embarrassing. Makes you feel guilty that you're a bad parent. You are in a shop and your child refused to help you with something that is basic. But you can't slap them because it's not appropriate and you don't want to slap because that's aggressive. But it feels so mad, 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 mad. And you decide to teach them a lesson. Okay, fine. You want a trick you're not getting. You didn't help me. No, I can't help you. Sorry. And then you, oh, they fight. You're fighting, I'll fight you back. <laughs> and you go, oh my god, my love is a disaster, my relationship is a disaster. <laughs> okay, when does it come? Mm. I don't know. I've got 12 years of it, and I had a few moments of joy and happiness, and more pain than joy and happiness. <laughs> but now I'm stuck with it for the rest of my life, so I'm going to make the best out of it. <laughs> So, if you feel that you don't have any children, you're sad about it, mm -hmm. just say with the positives. No crying, arguing, selfish, <laughs> kids um, demanding, criticizing, pointing, being unreasonable, and no one ruining your relationship. Oh, you can be free to have sex, to go traveling, to have space in the house, to have a clean house, and it's less arguing. Okay, not, um, I know all feelings are valid, all feelings. What I'm trying to say is that <clears throat> there is no perfect situation just because you don't have children or it might not happen doesn't mean having that is perfect. Sometimes it's even worse. The best thing is that to be an auntie or friend or grandma or just sad someone that has a kid and you get to enjoy them and then you pass them over. When I looked after kids before, it was more fun. We just had fun. I didn't have any worries and responsibilities. Pass it over. But now, with your own kids, you worry. And you worry that one misbehaviour is going to be this curse for the rest of your life and their life. And it feels more worrying because you feel that if anything happens, I don't know, you feel responsible for them. And it's like, I can't even hold myself and look after myself, let alone this extra person and your spouse. Oh, yeah. So, worry not. Breathe through. Smile. Breathe through. Smile. Take it easy. And remember, no situation is perfect. There are positives and negatives in every single situation. Make the best. Appreciate the good of each and let go of the rest. If you have kids, pay attention to the goodness side of it and enjoy and just know that it is hard and it's challenging and it's for like that for the rest of your and their life. Let's focus on the good so you don't despair and look forward to the changes, the learning, the letting go. And if you don't have kids and if it doesn't happen, just borrow a kid for an hour or two, have fun, and pass it over. You don't have the fun, but equally you don't have the pains and challenges and frustrations. 
and you don't really need to have a kid to be happy. In fact, you're probably happier without a kid. <laughs> Make your best decision and go after what your heart's desire. But no, 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 no. That is not all phrases. <clears throat> and one word of advice as well is, I would say this to every single person, is if you have sex with anyone, I protected sex. And if you don't, just go. If I feel pregnant, will you look after myself, my moods and this kid for the rest of your life? Yes, yes. Uh, if you have sex with me, you are consenting to look after myself. <laughs> my bad self. <laughs> my ugly, horrible self. And of my child too. For the rest of your life. <laughs> your pain. <laughs> uh, if it's worth, yes, do it. If it's not worth it, don't risk it. Okay. <laughs> it's not worth it. <clears throat> Too much of a big package to handle and it's for the rest of your life. <laughs> but have fun, have fun, have fun. <laughs> Protected fun. <clears throat> anyway, just a little silliness about not having kids and having kids. <laughs> so you don't feel that one is better than the other. They both have positives and negatives. <laughs> yeah, good!